It's always scary when you hear of someone dying from something as common as the flu. There are four main ways the flu can turn deadly. The first and most common cause is pneumonia. The influenza virus can directly cause viral pneumonia. Once someone has the flu, it can weaken their immune system so much that another virus or bacteria can enter the lungs. Infected lungs fill with fluid, making it difficult to breathe, so oxygen can't get to the rest of the body, which can lead to death. Sepsis is the second way the flu can become lethal, especially in healthy younger adults and children. Sepsis occurs when a person's immune system goes into overdrive trying to fight the flu. This causes inflammation, which can lead to a cascade of symptoms that ultimately ends in organ failure. A third way the flu can kill is by increasing your risk of heart attack. Experts say an adult's risk of heart attack increases sixfold in the seven days following a flu diagnosis. The fourth way the flu can kill is by dehydration, particularly among infants and young children. The flu often causes vomiting and diarrhea, which can quickly become life-threatening if fluids aren't replaced in the body. So if you get the flu, when should you be worried? Some people have a higher risk for serious complications from the flu, including the elderly, children under the age of five, pregnant women, and those with chronic health problems. If this is you, make sure you see a doctor. If you're a healthy older child or adult, watch out for sudden dizziness, severe persistent vomiting, difficulty breathing, pain or pressure in the chest or abdomen, and flu-like symptoms that improve then return with a fever or worse cough. Thank you.